I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss how to find angle of intersection between lines. Now the question here is how is angle between intersecting lines related with slope of the lines? Well, both are related things. So let us uh, take up a general example. So what I'll do here is that I'll just sketch two lines. Let us say first line is kind of like this, right? And the other line, let us say, is kind of like this. Okay. So these are the two lines. And we need to find the angle of intersection. Now, whenever we say angle of intersection, angles should be measured um, counterclockwise. Right, because then they are treated as positive. So, so we'll always see the angles as counterclockwise between the lines. So let's say these are the two lines, then the angle could be uh, from here to there, right? So that's the counterclockwise angle, which we are trying to measure. And this is definitely equal to this angle also, right? So these two angles are equal. So these are the angles which lines are making with one another, which we are interested in finding at present. So let's derive a formula. So let us say that uh, this angle is uh, theta 1 and the other angle over here is theta 2. And this angle is, is phi, the angle between the lines. Now from external angle theorem, we know theta 2 should be equal to sum of two remote interior angles, right? So theta 2 is theta 1 plus the angle between these two lines and from here you can find what the angle is so phi the angle between two lines is difference of these two angles we say theta 2 minus theta 1 now if I take tan on both sides I could write this as tan of uh, the angle is equals to tan of uh, theta 2 minus theta 1 now you know this formula tan of angle difference will be tan theta 2 minus tan of theta 1 divided by 1 plus tan theta 1 times tan theta 2. Now, what is this tan theta 1 and tan theta 2? Let's try to understand that part also. If you consider this particular line, let's say the blue line, in that case, if I drop a perpendicular here, then tan is perpendicular over base, right? And that is rise over run. Do you see that? So what we have here is, uh, or let me just sketch one here, small angle, right? Kind of like this. So that angle theta 1 is this angle, and tan is rise over run, correct? So it becomes the slope, right? It becomes the slope. So theta 1, tan theta 1, is slope of the line. You get the idea, right? So that is the slope of the line. For the second line also, if you consider what is tan theta 2, right? So tan theta 2, in this case, we can say 90, 180 minus theta 2. So basically, this angle here will be 90 minus that. Or you can say, oh, we can talk about that angle and then do 180 minus that. We could do that, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in tan, what you'll also realize is, uh, let me write down here, uh, you should understand that tan of 180 minus theta degrees, 180 degrees minus theta degrees is equals to tan of theta, right? Since uh, tan is positive in, uh, in first and third quadrant, right? So that's an identity tan repeats after every 180 degrees its time period is 180 degrees right so so tan of theta 2 whether you take this angle or that angle tan value is going to be same so in this case it is going to be rise over run so it is the slope you get the idea right so it is still the same thing which is slope so tan theta 2 and tan theta 1 are slopes of your lines so if this line is line 1 and this is line 2 in that case, the expression here is, 
equal to slope of line 2 minus slope of line 1 divided by 1 plus product of these two slopes, right? So, which is m1 times m2. So, that is a general expression which can be always applied to find the angle. So, this is tan of the angle itself and to find the angle, we can do tan inverse, right? So, we can do tan inverse or arc tan. So, now from here, we get our formula that is the angle is equals to difference of slope divided by 1 plus product of these slopes, right? So, so that becomes a general formula to find angle between intersecting lines. You get an idea, right? So, a few things which you may need to go through is the formula for tan a plus b or a minus b, which is we have used here. Second, we also use the identity tan of 180 minus theta is tan of theta, right? So, these two are very important things to review and understand what we have derived. Anyway, in short, the angle between the intersecting lines can be found from slope of the line, right? Now, we'll take a few examples where we'll find the angle using slope of the lines. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.